Hey guys, welcome back. This is a quick update for the OnePlus 5T and we have got the first official Android audio update in the form of the open beta. It's getting too much, you know, uh, in terms of from my side showing you guys a lot of updates because uh, OnePlus suddenly uh, pushes all the updates in just one or two days. It's not like that. I, I don't want to show you. I want to show you, but it's getting very complex for me to, you know, reverting back to the official, then going to the open beta, then someday for 3T, then 5 and the 5T. I'm just trying to manage and do my best myself that I can show you that's why some videos might get delayed here anyway guys let's get start and see all the features and changes for the oneplus 5.3 android audio now before you try to stall it since this is open beta there are likely chances are that you may uh, get some kind of major because I just I, I was just reading my comments here and some guys have told that they are not able to hear their audio calls inside this phone application especially for the oneplus 3t they got a new open beta update so uh, be sure to ready for those kinds of sudden mysteries and surprises so take complete backup and i would recommend you guys to install open beta because you're going to get it very soon because oneplus 5 just got the official one after three open beta so hopefully you should be getting soon uh, just in couple of weeks maybe uh, by the second week from now 15 days from now so just try to stick to the official one you're going to get official stable one now all the ch changes and details you have to uh, go inside this complete application just select oneplus uh, sorry about that this is the OnePlus 5T and there should be a pin to it. Oxygen is open beta 1 for OnePlus 5T. You can read from that. So all the change logs I'll be showing, I will show you all the new features and changes added. And more or less everything is same uh, like you have in the 3 and 3, uh, OnePlus 5 and 3 and 3T. So be sure to check my old videos too because definitely they will help you what kind of features are going to come inside this Oxygen OS. And how to install it. So you have to make sure you download the complete ROM and copy inside the Sentinel storage. So this is the one, last one you can see. OnePlus 5T, uh, this one is of the OnePlus 6, 1 gigabytes of the storage. So once you copy that to internal storage, just go back to the settings, system updates, and click on this gear icon, you will see the local upgrade. Once you click local upgrade, it will directly read that file. You just have to select it and it will uh, easily install it. Now if you have to roll back to the uh, official one from the open beta, so use the OnePlus forum. The uh, detailed steps are written there, how to roll back. You can see uh, there's a complete uh, steps are the given there. So be sure to uh, read that forum and all the links and details. Anyway guys, let's go start and see all the features and changes for the official Android Audio update for OnePlus 5T. Okay guys, so I have updated my device and here is my device and I just want to show you guys a quick comparison if you have installed first time the Android Audio and you just want to see and feel how does it looks like compared to stock Android. This is the Nokia 8 which is just close to the stock Android phone like a Nexus phone. So this is how the your new settings looks like and um, I personally like the new one because you know by seeing the Oxygen OS it looks to me I'm still using the old and right Nougat. Yeah definitely you got the old Android Audio feature. It's not bad. I'm just saying if you're just following a stock and right trend at least try to give the latest system UI changes because it feels like from two years you're using the same one and this is compared with the Pixel 2 XL the original 100% stock and right. That's how it looked like. So if you're curious I just thought to show you guys anyways it's cool thing I hope OnePlus should continue the same thing anyways uh, we cannot do anything about that now moving to the first feature we have the optimized the app shortcut style this is very nice you can see now you got the uh, optimized app shortcuts here so it depends on application to application and you can rearrange the shortcuts too you can quickly move up and there you cannot add it here you need some custom launcher for that but anyways uh, all the applications which have this feature they will show you a quick app shortcut uh, again you got some icons options too which you can really uh, only find with the third party applications like the nova launcher but here are uh, in build and both the app shortcuts and the your icon uh, editing options are now combined you can create widgets from here application info edit and you can just rename it that way so a very nice and interesting way to uh, jump quickly to your favorite section next is the short and oneplus update if you just take any photo of any object and if you just try to go to the gallery this is my unboxing knife the new one i'm using and here's the photo just click on the share button you will see the short and oneplus option is already there so you can just click here and just upload your photo the oneplus or short and oneplus you can create your account using google facebook and other things once you fill all the details and you know it's a good thing you you may can get some kind of rewards if your photo was selected or who knows uh, your uh, you know photo taken can be used as a wallpaper on thousands and millions of the phone kind of very nice in good way next is guys picture and picture mode this is uh, i've shown you many many times again i'm just showing you in case in youtube and plus 5t you're using 5t so go to the setting and just search for picture uh, type, type capital p otherwise it won't show you i just don't know why this is picture and picture mode 
so supported application will show here and it depends on application to application for example youtube uh, youtube red only supports and in india youtube is not working so you have to use google chrome so try to play the video uh, you want to watch so open the chrome in the desktop mode it is very important and play the video and see this full screen button like here on the inside so once the video start playing just press the home button on the full screen mode so you can see your video is minimized so that's how you can use all the application which is supported you have to use the home screen button not this app switcher now you can re easily rearrange in there you can open any application of course your screen has to be unlocked otherwise it won't work so here it is on the twitter very nice shot taken with uh, portrait itself you can check on my instagram and the twitter page link in the description and to close that you simply uh, tap it click the cross button it will just close it next is autofill service it is like same way you are storing username and password on the browsers like mozilla chrome everything else so all the manufacturers offer their own like the samsung does offer some third party applications are there but i will recommend to go with the google one for example on the oneplus i did have shown you how to enable this google autofill service by default it is disabled but you can easily enable that thing just an instance this is how it looks like autofill with google it you know uh, if you just in future if you just switch to any other devices definitely it doesn't matter your google thing will came there that's a good thing so go to the play store uh, google play services inside the settings go to the storage section click on this uh, menu space and just click on clear all data so once you do that thing also make sure just to clear the cache also then after that you have to reboot your device it is very very mandatory otherwise hopefully it won't work so just reboot your device once you're back online again on the device search for autofill service here you can see now you got the autofill with google you have to select it and give the permission and okay click on the okay button now i'm just going to show you guys a quick demo and if you are an inside any application you wanted to type something so google will first ask you tap to let google fill this form for you if you're doing first time you have to do this thing and uh, once you fill username and password next time in future if you're going to log into any of the devices or if you just uninstall the same application you'll try to log in again you can save the form form from here google will uh, offer you and show you all the username and password we just have entered very very nice feature and good way in case switching so many devices now next is the smart text selection. The idea is that if you're just writing anything and if you do any copy, whatever text you selected, Google will try to understand that what is that text. Just an instant, if you are typing some location address, if you just select anything, if it is genuine address, it will show you maps option just next to the cut. That means you can directly click on this map button. You don't have to copy that. You don't have to open the maps. You don't have to paste there. It just saves you three steps. That's how you can quickly do that. Different different applications can work in different way. For example, if you just typed any genuine telephone number, it will show you a phone application shortcut. You can directly open the phone application from here. That's how this smart text selection works. Next is the new quick settings. It's the same way. I'm just showing you here. Uh, Android Nougat 7.1.2 offers uh, six quick tile. Now you can have the seven quick tiles. This is also improved. There are new icons. All the manufacturer does modify that. I like the oh, this Oxy Inverse mobile data icon. And here it is comparing the OnePlus 5. If you just change the theme, you can get the theme black one, white one. Not the complete dark, it's just black. Comparing with the OnePlus 3D. That's how your uh, quick new quick settings look like and kind of nice way now not large but the least you got the december security patch level all the oneplus devices 3 3d 5 5d now are running with the latest december security patch which is good thing your device should be safe and secure if you're getting regular monthly security updates now guys it's time to see some benchmarking numbers just to see whether you got an improvement or not so why not just compare it with the other devices because all are running now some sort of audio maybe official maybe beta this is 3d versus five so you can just take seconds one and two seconds difference i'm not showing you speed test this is just a usual way i'm just showing you the numbers how much it will come so one plus uh, 5t uh, 5 and 3d so definitely 5 is going faster here got 8 gigabytes of ram my one plus 5t is the 6 gigabytes ram option just for information so 182k so uh you can you just should not compare with the old one definitely 180 plus k is very great score now time for the into two sorry the geek benchmark these are the old numbers so pretty average score that used to get uh, snap the 35 numbers are like that versus 821 and we should be about to complete that thing here and here looks like uh, all on the same page one plus five to got it first handed points improved followed by this is 8x forward it's going to take uh, more than one or two minutes so let's see so both uh, here i guess three and three t and five they got the score at the same time so guys there you have it this is your official android update open beta one for one plus five t i hope you guys enjoyed this video 
uh, kind of a little, little little bit of late too but you know there sometimes i just cannot be available all the time anyway guys uh, be sure to check out the old uh, audio update for the 3t and the oneplus 5 also because more or less those features are going to come on your oneplus 5t also very very soon so once again guys thank you so much for watching this is Saurabh, and i'll catch you very soon have a great day